In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Apple Watch Ultra 2 and pair with your iPhone. So the first thing you wanna do is turn on your Apple Watch. So in order to do that, you're gonna find this button under the digital crown, and we're gonna press and hold until the Apple Watch logo appears on the display. So I'm gonna press and hold. I'm still holding, and now I can let go. So this is gonna go through a little startup process on the watch. So the next thing you might wanna check is if you go to your phone, and on the upper right hand corner, you can swipe down from the top and just make sure that you do have Bluetooth enabled here. It should give you a blue dot on the screen. And once you're done with that, you can swipe back up. Now, another requirement is you do need to have iOS 17. So if you wanna check that your phone is, uh, has that, go ahead and find your settings app and tap on it. Then find general and tap on that find software update and tap on that. And then just make sure here that you have iOS 17 or later installed on your phone. And if not, go ahead and install that now. So once you've confirmed you have iOS 17, you can go ahead and go back to your um, home screen here and it's saying bring iPhone near Apple Watch, which we have done. So the next thing that we can do is um, go to our Apple Watch app so if you don't know where that is, you can swipe all the way from right to left until you get this page, and then you can swipe down. And then here in alphabetical order, you can swipe toward the bottom, and then you find the watch app that way. So let's go ahead and click on this. And it says, watch would like to send me notifications. I'm gonna go ahead and say allow, and it says, if you have an Apple Watch, you can pair it here with your iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap Start Pairing. And I'm going to be setting this up for myself, so I'm gonna tap Set Up for Myself. It says, Hold Apple Watch up to the camera. So we have this little um, animation here on the watch face, and now I'm gonna to need to use my phone, and I'm gonna put this watch face in this little square. So let me show you that real quick. Gonna hold it steady and there we go. So it says your Apple Watch is paired. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap set up Apple Watch. So it says which wrist you wanna wear. You can choose left or right. I'll keep it as left and tap continue. And it looks like it's working on something. There's a little gear thing going here. All right, it says connecting your Apple Watch. This may take a moment. So in the meantime, you can just enjoy this little screen that somebody designed. Kind of always looks nice. All right, and now we have some terms and conditions. You do have to agree to these in order to use your watch. So if you agree, go ahead and tap agree here. And it is showing some little progress thing there. Okay, signing into your account. This may take a few minutes. Now it says watch analytics. You can help Apple improve its products by allowing analytics of usage data from your watch. You can make your choice here. If you don't want to share, don't want to share, just tap don't share. I'll go ahead and tap share with Apple. And it says if you're sharing Apple Watch analytics data, this also means sharing it for iPhone. So if you're okay with that, go ahead and tap okay, or you can tap cancel. I'll go ahead and tap okay. And I have a notification here that weather would like to send me notifications. You can allow or don't allow. I'm gonna go ahead and say don't allow for this. And back on the phone here, it's saying Apple Watch passcode. So you can create a passcode. For now, I'm gonna say don't add a passcode. I would highly recommend if you're gonna use Apple Pay to use a passcode for sure. And if you do use that, they will require you to create a passcode then. So I'll probably create a passcode when I set all that up. But for now, I'm just gonna say don't add passcode. And it says it's highly recommended. Um, some features of WatchOS and Apple ID cannot be used without a passcode. So I guess I'll just say cancel and create a passcode here just to show you how it is. So. We're going to enter a new passcode here on our watch. So I'm not gonna actually use this passcode, but I'll just do a demonstration here. I'll say one, two, three, four. It says it can be easily guessed. Do I still wanna use it? I'll just say use it for now and re-enter. And there we go. 
So now we're going through the bold text and size. So you can select your preferred text. If you want bold text, you can see how that looks. Changed it on the watch there. You can also change the text size. So if you want it smaller, you can do that. If you want it really big, you can do that. I'm gonna keep it at the default and I'm gonna tap continue. You can also change these settings later in the Apple Watch app. And it shares some settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap okay. And you can personalize fitness and health. So if you already have this set up, it will show this information for you. If not, you can go ahead and tap on these and change what you need to change. For now, I'm gonna say cancel. And I will set that up later. So I'll go ahead and tap continue. And you can set up activity app. So if you don't want this, I guess you can skip this step, but this will give you the activity rings. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up activity. And we can choose our daily move goal. So we can have light, which is 300 calories a day, and 600 or 900. So I'm actually gonna go down to 250. I'll set that as my move goal. You can have a daily exercise goal. It's recommended to get at least 30 minutes of activity at or above a brisk rock walk. So you can increase these in five minute increments. I'm gonna keep it on 20 minutes a day and set that as my exercise goal. And then your daily stand goal. It's recommended to get up and move for at least a minute in each hour of your day. So you can do this for up to 16 hours or as low as six hours. So maybe I'll go, keep it at the default 12, I guess is okay. So I'll set that as my stand goal. And then workout route tracking. So if you want route tracking using the uh, GPS, then you can enable this. If you're not sure you want that, you can disable this. I'll go ahead and say enable. You can always change this later. And get notifications about your health. So you can receive a notification when there's something you need to know. So you can learn when the noise levels are a little too loud to uh, be healthy for you. You can get low and high heart rate notifications. So I go ahead and just leave these all on. I think they're very useful. So I'll go ahead and keep those enabled. If you want to disable something, you can just tap here to disable it. But I'll keep them all enabled and tap continue. And safety. So Apple Watch can help in emergency. It does have an emergency SOS feature, crash detection, um, you can enable a siren if you need to and backtrack to help you record your route in case you get lost. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just tap continue here because we don't seem to have any other options. And again, it has a little gear there. All right, so Apple Pay. I do find this highly useful, but I'm not going to set this up in this video. You can tap continue to add your cards now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up later. If you wanna see me do this in another video, I'll try to remember to link that in the description below. If not, uh, put a comment down there to remind me. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap set up later. And action button. So for the Ultra Series, you have this action button here on the side. And we can choose here what we want the action button to do. So you can start a workout and mark a segment during workout. You can have it be a stopwatch, creating waypoints. Uh, using backtrack feature, dive start, and flashlight. I think it's nice to have a little shortcut for the workout. I'll probably use that. You can also set this up and change later in these settings. So I'll just keep it as workout um, and tap continue. And it says depth app can automatically open underwater and measure temperature, time, and depth. So you can open depth when submerged or don't open automatically. If you're going to be using your watch in this instance for this feature, you can keep that on. I don't know if it uses more battery or exactly what, but I'm probably never going to be diving with this watch, so I'm going to say don't open automatically. And then it has some diving safety information you can read through and then tap continue. And welcome to Apple Watch. So we get a little chime here. And I'm going to say OK here on the phone. And then on the watch, this is new for me. I've never seen this little hello on the watch that I can recall. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap start. It says learn how to navigate Apple Watch. And in the meantime, it says the device was added to my account. So I do recognize this, I'm gonna say okay. 
All right, so press the digital crown to see your apps. So this is the digital crown up here. I'm gonna enter my passcode, rewake it. <laughs> I guess maybe I should put it on here so it doesn't keep asking me to do that. Because once I have it on my wrist, it will stop asking me for a passcode. And I can zoom in also for you. All right, so we can press the digital crown to see our apps. So this with the orange ring is the digital crown. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that. All right, so there are the apps. We can also press the digital crown to return to the watch face. Okay, and then press the side button to open control center. So I think it's also going through this because with watch OS 10, which was released with this year's watches, has a little bit different navigational gestures. So we're now pressing the side button to open the control center. So that's new this year. And then you can press the side button to close the control center. And turn the digital crown to see your widgets. Okay. All right, so I think this is what's called the smart stack feature. And it looks like that's all it needs to tell us and it says welcome to Apple Watch. So here is the Apple Watch Ultra 2 with the new uh, watch face. I believe this is called Modular Ultra. So it does show a lot more on the screen. We now have six of these circular complications and we have two options here. And I will back out of this and we'll come over to the app. And just to show you here in the app, this is how you can change settings on your watch as well. You can add it, add or edit faces here. If I tap edit here, you can rearrange and you can edit them on your watch and, or on your phone and go through all the things that we just went through. If you want to add more faces, this is the face gallery and I'll go over a lot of these settings in another video, but that should at least help get you started with your Apple Watch Ultra too. So if you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Apple Watch tutorial videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.